This is the state's emergency operations center at Cal OES headquarters, now operating around the clock for emergency operations in response to the wildfires burning up and down California. What's the latest on the wildfires? Where can you turn if you've been evacuated? And what's the one place you should not go if you're in an area affected by the fires? We've got the answers coming up next. I'm Brian May, the State Operations Center once again today activated to its highest level, providing support and coordination to critical incidents throughout the state. Let's run down the four largest wildfires in California right now. I will start us in the south and once again work our way north. The Cranston Fire in Riverside County, holding it just over 13,000 acres. Containment nearly doubled in the last 24 hours. Now up to nearly 60%, 12 structures have been destroyed. The Ferguson Fire in Mariposa County. Firefighters able to keep the Ferguson Fire from spreading much overnight as well. 56,000 acres. Containment still at 30%, still over 3,800 total personnel working that fire. The Mendocino Complex fire, which is actually two fires, it's the river and the rush covering both Mendocino and Lake Counties. This fire combined doubled in size overnight, now over 55,000 acres containment at just 10% and because it is so close to homes, still some 10,000 structures threatened. And then finally, the largest fire currently burning in the state, the Car Fire in Shasta County, now approaching 100,000 acres containment though overnight jumping from 5% to 20%. The car fire already destroying close to 1,000 structures. And this is what the air looked like today in Shasta County. Heavy smoke once again blanketing hundreds of acres in and around Redding and Shasta County. At a community meeting in Redding this afternoon, the sheriff announcing they are hoping to open a local assistance center later this week. Even before the fire is out, but more especially once it's out, we need to begin recovery efforts. We will be establishing a local assistance center, referred to as a LAC, and that is for local, state, and federal authorities, and along with nonprofit and volunteers to come together and offer disaster assistance programs, streamline recovery services and processes, and a centralized location for services, and that is gonna be in conjunction and partnership with the city of Reading. By the way, if you have been affected or displaced by the car fire and need resources, be it food, water, clothing, or essential items, you can find most of those items at the local evacuation shelters. Now, some people have been showing up here at a staging area at the Reading Municipal Airport, but they are not set up to distribute items there. To get any resources, you need to go to the evacuation shelters. Yes, that's the right place to go. We're not a POD, which stands for point of distribution. Um, the shelters are the connection between the survivors and the resource. We are the distributors, if you will, of all the commodities that go to shelters or points of distribution. They have cleaning kits, comfort kits, shelter support kits, a variety. There are currently still evacuation orders in effect for the Carr, Mendocino, Ferguson, and Cranston fires, and local and state law enforcement officers want to send a very clear message to those areas. Stay out. Several people have been arrested for trespassing and burglary over the past few nights. The California Highway Patrol has a heavy presence in the evacuated areas. They are assisting locally the police and sheriff. Yeah, those areas, uh, they're evacuated, they're closed off. We're trying to keep people out uh, once again so we can get the uh, law enforcement and other allied agencies in there to do the work to get these neighborhoods back up on, on their feet. And one of the things that we're doing up there, we're trying to keep these neighborhoods safe, keep looters and people who want to come in there and, and prey on these people who have right. been through uh, a, a significant impact. They've been through enough, and we're trying to keep them from getting further hurt by uh, people coming in to... Uh, remove articles from their houses that don't belong to them. I was on the phone briefly a couple hours ago with Stephanie Bridget from the DA's office who wanted me to pass along a message that she is going to be prosecuting that to the full ex extent as a felony and we are gonna make them very public. And so you need to know that. 
Yeah, and Reading Police Chief Roger Moore that you heard from there, one of the ones who lost his house in the car fire. I want to take you now inside what's called the Unified Coordination Group. This is a twice daily meeting of the state's top emergency managers and key leadership during large emergencies. And the idea is to bring everyone to the table and discuss and problem solve any key issues. One of the challenges discussed daily in these meetings, making sure they've got the right resources in the right places and resources meeting both personnel and equipment. And that includes even going out of state to other states and to our federal partners uh, to bring in uh, additional assets as necessary and plug them in. And, and look, we have not, we have not uh, uh, wasted time on that. We have leveraged every state in the country uh, and, and uh, we've, we've got lots of out, out of California assets here supporting us through this. Yes, I, all these states are, are facing fire activity, or most of them are, but yet they're still finding ways to send one, one two, or three you know, engines. And so those are constantly moving across the country. We continue to ask for help, and they continue to provi uh, provide opportunities to free up more resources. So we continue to talk to all of our partners around the country. And we talk about bringing in resources from out of state. Take a look at just some of the states who have either already sent crews to California or have crews en route. States from as far away as Maryland, New Jersey, South Dakota, and Missouri. For the latest information on any of the current wildfires in California, you can go to the incident page on the CAL FIRE website. That's fire.ca.gov. And as we close, I want to take you back to that community meeting in Shasta County from earlier this afternoon, a very touching moment when the sheriff of Shasta County asked those in attendance to give a round of applause for all of the firefighters and emergency responders working their car fire. I'm very proud of all the men and women that have been fighting, to, fighting this fire, both the uh, firefighters on the line, the support staff and command staff behind the scenes, they're working 24-7, and please take an opportunity to give them thanks, and if you would, right now.